Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-37 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the F2 force and its direction phi if we have been given the resultant force that is 6 kN and it is acting 30 degrees from the positive x axis clockwise. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram of the plate. So on this plate I have a F1 force, I have the F2 force, I have the F3 force. Uh, let's label them first. So this is the F1, 4 kN. This is F2, and this is F3. That is 5 kN. Here we have the 30 degrees. It is phi, and here we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Similarly, I have a resultant force as well. This is my resultant force acting at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise from the positive x axis. This right here is the 30 degree. And this is the resultant force. And this is the positive x axis. This is the negative x axis. This is the positive y axis. And this is the negative y axis. Now we have to resolve these forces into their components. So for the F1 force, I have two components one horizontal component and one vertical component. Uh, let's label it. This right here would be F1 sine 30 degree and this vertical component would be f1 cos 30 degree similarly i have the two components for the f2 force one horizontal component and one is the vertical component Uh, this right here is F2 sin phi and this component is F2 cos phi. Similarly, I have two components for the resultant force. A one horizontal component and a one vertical component. Uh, this is FR sin 30 and uh, this horizontal component of the resultant force is basically FR cos 30. And then I have Two components for the F3 force as well. One vertical force component and one horizontal force component. This right here is F3 and uh, let's call this angle as theta. Oh, we already have been given the theta, so we can't use it. Uh, let's consider it as alpha. This angle right here is the alpha. So it would be F3 sine alpha and this horizontal component would be F3 cos alpha. 
Uh, let's clear it a little bit. This F3 and that is uh, 5 kN. So now, first of all, let's find the angle alpha. So to find the angle alpha, we can consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. Because this angle right here is same as the angle inside this 3, 4, 5 triangle. If I draw a 3, 4, 5 triangle, and this right here is alpha, and this is 5, 3, and 4. So tan alpha is equals to 3 upon 4, and from here alpha comes out to be 36 point. 870 degrees. Okay, now we have dissolved F3 force into its component. So now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of the forces. In x direction, I am considering right hand side as positive equals to the x component of the resultant force, FRx. So, summation of the forces, uh, okay, this would be in negative F1 sin 30 because it is directed in the negative sense of the positive x direction. So, it would be a negative 4 sin 30. I have used the 4 here in place of F1. Because the magnitude of the F1 is 4 kN. That is given to us in the problem. And then plus F2 cos phi. Plus. Plus this F3 cos alpha and F3 is 5 kN. So 5 cos and alpha is 36.87 degrees. Equals to the FRx and FRx is basically FR cos 30. And the magnitude of the resultant force is 6 kN. So it would be 6 cos 30. So when we simplify it, it becomes a negative 2 plus F2 cos phi plus 4 equals to 6 cos 30. So 3 root 2, 3 root 3. Uh, when we further simplify it, it becomes F2 cos phi equals to 3.5. 196. This is our first equation. Since we have the two unknowns, F2 and the angle phi, and we have one equation, it means that we need another equation. So our second equation would be summation of the forces in y direction equals to FRY, the vertical component of the resultant force. Now here I am considering the downward component as positive, the downward direction as positive. So our equation would be we have F1 cos 30 and it is acting, the vertical component of the F1 force is acting in the downward direction. So it is positive 4 cos 30 minus the vertical component of the F2 force is acting in the upper direction, so it has to be subtracted. So F2 sin phi plus the vertical component of the F3 force, it is also acting in the downward direction, so plus 5 sin alpha and alpha is 36.87 degrees equals to the FRY and FRY would be FR sin 30. 
and fr is 6 so 6 sin 30 so when we simplify it it becomes 2 root 3 minus up to sin 5 plus 3 equals to 3 this 3 and that 3 gets cancelled out and we have f2 sin pi equals to 3.464 up to 3 decimal places. This is my equation 2. Now I have two equations and two unknowns, so I can simultaneously solve them. So let's say divide equation 2 by 1. So we have f2 sin phi over f2 cos phi equals to 3.464 divided by 3.196 up to an f2 gets cancelled out. Sin phi over cos phi becomes tan phi and it becomes 1.084 and when you take the tan inverse theta comes up sorry a phi comes out to be 47.3 degrees this is our first answer now put the value of this phi either in equation 1 or equation 2 to get the value of f2 so let's say consider equation 2 uh, this equation right here so equation 2 becomes f2 sine and phi is 47.3 equals to 3.464 so when you divide the 3.464 by sine 47.3 degrees, you would get F2 equals to 4.71 kN. Now, this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.